Today I'm gonna try to make Oni. Oni. So let's go. Four dollar fifteen cents. Okay, so change of scene to my kitchen. I really wanted to cut the yam. I was about to cut it. Then my mom saw and she was like, No, 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 no! You're gonna hurt yourself, young child. Give me the knife. So this is her cutting the yam like a pro. Carve the yam, carve the skin out. Honestly, she was also struggling, like you can see. <laughs> Finally, I said, but this is my YouTube video. I have to do it. If not, it's just a total lie that I made Oni when you were the one cutting the Oni. I have to cut the yam also, right? Well, that's a overprotective Asian parent we have there. Uh, update, I'm totally fine. Nothing happened. Just stop the video I cut for you. No, 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 no to show. Yam is all good. Followed by a pretty murderous scene of me trying to stab the yam. You're supposed to cut it into cubes, but I think that's not gonna happen because cutting into half is really a struggle. I wouldn't recommend you to try this if you don't have a sharp knife or maybe if you don't have strength like me. I'm a weakling. So my mom kindly passed me a wow. bigger, more badass knife and then we managed to get the job done but you know what i'm not gonna cut it into cubes i'm just gonna cut it into half and steam it and then chop it after because i think that's gonna make my life easier all right fits perfectly into my two tiny steamers if you have a big steamer go ahead use that but i don't so i have to put one in this one and one in that one um just checking the progress of my yam here this was after 20 minutes and it was still quite hard so I let it sit for about 15 minutes more. Here I transferred the yam into a bowl to start mashing. It was already quite soft so it basically crumbled. But as I mash right, I realized it's getting stickier and more tacky. So you need to use a lot of strength to go and boil it out and just get it to be smooth like a paste. Your girl was struggling like for real because it was quite a big bowl of yam and I never really mixed something at this proportion before. Normally I'm just making like scrambled eggs. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you want to put pumpkin in your oni, also do prep it at the side. You just need to steam your pumpkin. What you're supposed to do next is give it a little fry. You're just supposed to fry the yam paste with shallot oil. Pretty straightforward, just don't let it chow ta. So keep the fire low and then keep stirring. If not, at the bottom, it will become a bit brown. And advise you to put a little bit of water here, maybe like half a bowl of water. So add the water according to your preference. Like if you want it to be cow, then add lesser water. But if you like it watery, then put more water. You're also supposed to put sugar while mixing the oni. But my mom didn't want me to put sugar, so I secretly put like 2 tablespoons of sugar, which I couldn't taste at all. Lah. In the end, it was still nice. Once the pumpkin is done, take it out and mash and that's basically it for the pumpkin. And the last step is to prep your coconut milk. For this, you only need to heat it up slightly just before it boils and then add a sprinkle of salt. And you are done! Now your oni is ready to be served like a pro. Look at it! It's like, wow, my greatest achievement this CB period. Okay, moment of truth, taste test! Will all my hard work pay off? I'm gonna just mix it all up together. But I put a lot of coconut milk inside because I like coconut milk. Might have gone a little bit overboard with this. I should have stopped at two scoops. I put three. So basically, it looks like this now. Okay, let's go. Yeah, eat some. Mmm. Girl, it's not bad leh. Oh wow. You can really feel like it's made from yam because it's handmade. So it's not like through a blender or anything. You can eat like the chunks of taro inside. It's a bit like the hay tea, boba something, the taro milk tea that I love. Overall, it has a very homely feel. Will I remake it again? Yes, if I'm going to like a big family gathering and then a lot of people will be eating because the portion is quite big, no? Like my that small $4 taro can basically feed 6 to 8 people. <laughs> So if I'm going for a family gathering, definitely I will whip out my oni making skills and make for my whole extended family to eat. Thank you for spending time with me today, going through my CB period, trying new things together. Do stay tuned for more videos on my channel and meanwhile, be safe, take care and be happy. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye! I like it because it's not so sweet. The texture is good, not too soft. I like things with texture, so it's good. 8 upon 10. Okay, great.